back to another episode. Uh, I'm out here this morning, me and young Dex. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. We just today bring no bait, no big rods. We're just going to focus on just squidding uh, most of the morning. So we got here a little bit late. Sun's already up. We're supposed to be here before, as the sun was coming up. Uh, eh, it is what it is. So we're going to get into it, and uh, we'll see how we go. Good boy. What colour was it? This is the white one. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this is the start. No, we didn't put on that green one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> green one you do it pretty good. Not too big, not too small. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, first one for the morning. So I got my hand over you won't get you. So yeah. Number one, uh uh. Go on Dex. Big one. This is on that um I think it's a new jig I bought. No, the new jig This one feels pretty good though. Second one on. Yeah now a lot of line came out. Yeah, this is a good one. This is good. This is what we oh, came wait, for. Oh wait, that's the white one again. Yeah. That one's New on fire one. already. This is the spill we came for. Well, there's Look that one big in there. That, oh, that's huge. That's big one, that one. Nearly up, yeah! Nearly up on the face. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Second one for the morning. So it's been, what, five minutes since between the two? So, yeah. So we've got you like ten minutes, five minutes. Uh, ten minutes, five minutes. Yo! Yeah, this is going. Keep going for a bit quicker than that. If it shoots backwards, just let him go. Okay. So very, very, very broken ground. There's more sand than there is seaweed at the moment. He's still there? Keep pulling. Yeah, he's there still. I think this is the other new thing again. <laughs> the white one again, I guess. <laughs> The weight's there still, he's still there. There's a lot of line out there, there's a lot, a lot of line. Oh, oh, yeah, don't move your feet, whatever you do. There he comes, the opposite. Oh, the little baby, baby one. <laughs> Something's doing up, and Whoa. Here you go. He shot back at me. <laughs> yeah. Green one. I'll just put that on. Uh, oh, wow. I, I guess the one that's going to get the most squid is the green one and the white one. Green and the white one. Oh! Shit! Oh well, might be doing that again. <laughs> oh my god. Go to self. Gummy? Good one, that one. That's a good squid, Dex. Like, probably. Probably. Remember, if you guys shoot backwards, let him go. Let him slide out of my hand. Yeah, but not too loosely. Whoa. That's a big one, isn't it? You can feel it, feel it, eh? It's a good sized squid, this one. And this is the green one. Green one again. We're in about 12, 12 metres of water at the moment. We started in, I think it was 7? No, 10-ish. Ten 10-ish? Ten we started in 10 and we're slowly just progressing out deeper. And we haven't moved, which is still our same drift. So... Oh, yeah, no, we've lost, really we've lost one squid already. That was my fault. We won't be doing that again. That's a nice squid. Yeah, I found we've been letting out a fair chunk of line. So, as you can see, you'll see like that's why it's taking so long to get it in. Plus, I'm trying to get him used to the uh, the feel of them shooting backwards so he can learn to give and take. Well, that's a good one. That's going to be probably about the same size as that last, that, not the little, little one, the other bigger one that we got. Good squeeze, good squeeze. It's like you're pulling weight, but like this way. Yeah, <laughs> be careful, you might shoot back again. That's a good squid, Dex. He's a good one. Keep tension. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're going. Oh, he's got a mate following. Look, there's a friend behind him. See him in the water? Oh, yeah. Get this off. Oh, he's got mates with him. Oh, 
Side of my face is good squid. Oh man, I caught you right in the face. I got it in my mouth. <laughs> that was right. Here he is, here he is, he's there. Alright, it's heavy that one. Yeah, he had a follower, chasing him straight up. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that one was heavy. Yeah, that 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 was heavy. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's not as big as the last one, though, but he's still a keeper. Yeah. Yeah. That's disgusting when he gets in your mouth. It's like water. Yeah, I know. It's just... It's just... I don't know. It's not good to take it. That was the other one. I was following the other one up. And, yeah, that's a bit squirt. It's okay. Let's go. Well, that's, that's four. four. That's four. four already. Like 15 minutes. Another one. Small one, big one. Feels small. Feels small. A fair bit of line, so it's gonna take you a while. I'll bring these down this time. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping. You reckon I'm gonna drop this one again? Uh. Probably not. Oh, it's only a baby, this one. Oh, I can see him out there. Keep attention. He's only a pup. You reckon I'll lift it in this time? We'll try and lift it in? Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Try and not drop the GoPro as well. Oh, it's just, looks like that same baby one we got last time. Wow! I'm <laughs> really sure it's gonna drop. Tell that. White jig, last little one again. Let him go, let him in there. Not too little, good size. Ah, good size. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's that? That's number five so far. Yep. Yeah, second drift took us a bit longer, but we're getting there. We're plucking along slowly but surely. Yeah. On again. Dex is on fire today, chewing on his jerky and bloody catching squid at the same time. Not very big, I think it's about the same size as the last one, I think. Same jig again, I put a bit extra weight on it. So now we're in 13 metres of water now. So I think I might put some more weight on them and uh, I'll show you what I mean once we get this squid up. It's a three and a half grammer, but I think even with the drift anchor in, I think we're drifting a bit a touch too quick. But I don't want to put too much weight on and then start catching cuttlefish. Which cuttlefish aren't too bad anyway. Here we go, it's really there. Oh, this one's smaller than the last one. Oh wow. Only a baby. Oh! <laughs> right in the cheek. Nice bait size, that one. I think that one for bait. So, yeah. But a palm size. Bait so it doesn't shoot out of your hand. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll show you what I was talking about. So, obviously, I've got the white, white jig, and a tiny little ball sinker on the front. I think it's a three and a half gram. Let me see. Yeah, so it's three and a half gram plus the ball sinker on there just to get it down. Because, like I said, we're in 13 meters now. So, yeah, it's. Uh, it seems to be working, so. I might change all the jigs to match um, that sort of weight if I stop getting inked in the face. So, uh, yeah, and maybe change the colours around. It's another squid. Well, Dexter has anyway. Here you go, you just talk about it. Here you go. Really good. I reckon it might be cuddly. We're getting close to the bottom now, now we have the drift anchor out. Got a proper square drift going on now. Alright, let me get the cuttlefish. Oh, he's only got one leg holding on. Oh, no, he's alright. This time we're going to grab it so I don't get squirted in the face. Same. Where are you going? I'm trying to not get squirted. 
Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. Oopsie. Oh, still got me. That's uh, one of the new jigs I bought. Oh, it's all on my shirt. Oh. Oh. It's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just hanging it's like, there. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky I took my shirt off, eh? All right, I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a rundown of how I set all this up to fish with so many lines in the water before I get questions asked. So I've got the one on the rod going out that way, basically. One here on the bay board, another one here in the middle, there, there, and there. And because I've got the drift anchor on the bow, it's keeping the boat square, sort of, with the wind and with the motor obviously um, hard right. So sort of keeping the jigs all straight. So that way we don't get any tangles and everything else and every line's got a different color on it to see what's the predominant color that we're catching squid on. So um, yeah, two of them now, I've got weights on them, two don't. Uh, but yeah, we've moved locations to a different spot. I think it's um, now that the sun's up more now, it's, they've sort of dialed back a bit. But we're gonna try and get two more, get to our 10, 10's more than enough. I know we can get 15, but um, for us, 10's plenty. So um, if we get a couple more, we'll be out here and on our way home. So we'll see how we go. But yeah, that's just an example of how, yeah, I set up for a drift. As you can see how all the lines all staying all nice and straight and no one's getting tangled. Same with the one on the rod at the side there. So I can't see the braid in the water. But yeah, that's how I set up the boat for drifting. Even when I was in the tinny as well, same thing. So obviously, yeah, it's on the cleat, on the bow, running through the bow rail, and drift anchor runs out to the side there. And that's how I find I keep lines nice and straight, no tangles, and everything just seems to work like clockwork, touch wood. Come on, <laughs> drift. Took a while. Took a while, all right. Or the big cuttlefish. Big one, alright. Good one. Take the back. Take the back. I thought, I thought, I thought that was the bottom. So I heard, heard it like ticking, tick, 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 top, tick, tick. Good, 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 good man. Don't sweat it. Another one. That's what number eight. Number eight. We'll leave him there. Two more and then we're done. Two more and we're going home. Oh Feels like a good one, eh? Oh my god. Ah, it's a big one. Big one? I can see it. No, I just wasn't seeing it. <laughs> there he comes. Big one, alright. Good one. Oh, Dex is slowly. He's only got one leg on. Oh, this is a good one. This one I might get the next this one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Sounds a good, good one. Go, go, go. I'll bring the GoPro go. down. Oh, that's He's only holding on by one leg. Okay, got it. Keep going, keep going. Oh, dodgy camera angle's going on here. Got him. Oh, I think it's a squid of the day, Dex. Definitely a squid of the day. I think so too. That's a donkey. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, probably should have waited a bit longer in the water. Hold that for us. Well, um, oh my god. What are you getting I'll put him up here for now. That's squid of the day, I reckon, Dex. Oh, on the white, on the whitey. On, on the brand new white one. So we'll throw him on the measure. I think it's the biggest one for the day. Whoa! <laughs> So yeah, about there. All right. It's about not too bad. Troop length at yeah. 30 centimeters. So yeah, okay. not bad. Yeah. And uh, yeah, pants full of uh, look like I pissed myself. So yeah. 47. Well, was there one more to go? 
Yeah, I think it's one yeah, more to go. One more to go. One more to go. This one. Oh, the hell was going off as well. <laughs> oh, no. uh, is that one still on? Yeah. Double hooker. Triple. It's going to be close to the triple. I thought it was going to be a triple. That, I thought that was the bottom of Australia. <laughs> Four seconds. Australia. I thought. And then I, and I was like, she's not going to fill up. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, double. Oh, I have my shot to steal. Oh, that other one's on as well. Ah, uh. uh. oh. <laughs> uh, triple. Triple, boy. No. It's going off. <laughs> Could I fall instead of ten? I know, eh? It always happens that way. Eh? That's so much light. <laughs> I have to let so much light because we're drifting so fast. <laughs> Oh, there's not in that one. Oh, is that a stand? Look! Look, look! Oh, you see? He could take that one! Oh, you're taking it! Oh! He could oh. take it! He could take it! Ah, oh, no! It's going crazy now! Oh, man! Yeah, we just must have found the honey hole. Can you get mine in? Whipple! Another one. And I got my eye. Oh, hey, don't do that. Come on, drop in. Alright. Hey, next up. Yeah. Another. Ah, oh, you lost it! No! <laughs> oh, no. Hope he comes back. Oh, my gosh! Ah. She's making a mess. I know. Turn it into an ink boat. Yeah. It eskies. Everywhere. I know. Bustle the line. Alright, alright, all right. I think put the line out. Um, start cleaning up this mess. There's another tank will you? Get this thing sorted. Right. Oh, I was hoping that last one stayed on. That was another good one. That was a good squid. Daddy. How did that happen? All that just happened all at one time. I know. I, <laughs> I, that one was on, I think, or otherwise the bottom of the stadium. I think it might have been bottom. It might have been yeah. at the squid. I'll let all this line go out. We'll clean this mess up. I think we've got our quota anyway. I think we've got past 10 now. 12. <laughs> 12. We've got three then. We're supposed to have one more, but we had 12. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right, me and Dick's going to wrap this one up. Dex is just wrapping up the last couple lines. We probably could have gone back, got more squid, but I think what you said about 12? Yeah, 12. Yeah, so we've got 12. So I know the bag limit is like 15 per person, but geez, mate, these squid are huge. Some of them are massive. So when we get home, I'll lay them all out on the isky and um, go from there. But that last little patch I found must be a little honey hole there that must be just grouping up in there because every line just about went off, as you can see in the video. And then lost. There was only two that didn't go off. Yeah, only two, two didn't off. go off. Or well, three went three. off. Three went off and two didn't. And then there was another big one chasing up the white one. I just threw the jig back in and um, no yeah, Spiro didn't have the GoPro to grab over and show you guys him chasing after it. So, but yeah, no, epic little session. It's um, well, it's nine o'clock now. <laughs> we left home about 5.30 and went to the Lewin. Uh, Lewin bow ramp. And that bow ramp is a rip off of parking, eh? I'm, it's, it's annoying because I like fishing out, out of the out of the swan but man eighteen dollars for parking is just stupid before you spent a lot for sixteen dollars you could wash your boat there park it no dramas at all now for eighteen bucks you don't even get a wash down bay it's um it really annoys the crap out of me out of it and just you know it's a shame because you can go up for another 10 minutes up the river and you only pay from seven to seven for seven dollars parking and you know but for an extra 10 minutes out of the river it's just like why they have to be so expensive and you get bugger all out of it but anyway, that's my little winch for the day. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll catch these guys back at home. Okay guys, welcome back. We're home. Um, we thought we had 15, but we got 12, wasn't it? 12. 12. Um, but, gee Louise, mate, these things, start, there's no need to, oh, I would have been happy with 10, but that last little run at the end just um, helped us out a fair bit, but I'll show you some of the squid. Um, but yeah, some of them like they're pretty, uh, pretty decent squid. So, and I mean that's more than enough for us. So, so it's not too bad of a day, especially with these last two down here. That one there's a good one. 
The biggest one, I mm. think. I think it's that one or that one there. One I don't the know which one. Yeah. But, yeah, all in all, it wasn't too bad. That's probably the smallest one. Mm, definitely that one. Plus uh, <laughs> the one that I lost as well. <laughs> wasn't on purpose. I was trying to lift it into the boat and uh, off she went. So, yeah, that's Going us. on with one. Yeah. yeah, you're lucky there's a lot of money holding on with one leg as well. Yeah, yeah, the one of the big ones. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, on a different note, we're going to get stuck into that and um, stuck into them and cleaning them and cutting the heads off and bits and pieces and stashing the bait for um, pinky season, which is coming up soon with these storms. So it's going to be a lot of uh, wet and wild adventures coming up soon. Um, so <laughs> we'll uh, see how that goes. We're going to start... Um, Focusing on pinkies a bit more now with the bad weather coming in, hopefully in the next yeah. couple of days. So hopefully by next weekend, we might be able to get a couple of good pinkies. But on a different note, um, I'm, I know it's a bit early and everything else, but jumping the gun on it, I'm gonna be getting the boat ready, or I need to do some modifications to the boat to um, go for cray season. So this year I'm opting out for um, a winch and table. So um, the only thing I've found when I've had a bigger boat in the past with aluminium boats is straight, the gunnels down the side are nice and straight. Uh, with this girl here, she's a bit, um, tapers in a fair bit. So if anybody um, who has one of these or who's got a fiberglass set up on theirs with obviously the gunnel rubber and everything else sticking out the side like that, I wouldn't mind seeing some photos and um, who you guys went through to um, get it done because obviously I want to make sure that it's easy enough to take on and off and the winch I don't know if we're going to get it flush mounted or just sitting on the side so I can take it on and off when I'm not using it so um, yeah any help would be much appreciated on that front so because um, yeah I mean like, if I put the table about here somewhere towards the front so it can be more control towards the helm um be much appreciated but yeah any ideas that'd be nice uh just flick us through on either on facebook or um instagram or youtube or whatever all that tech savvy crap that i'm not really into <laughs> but anyway so yeah until next week um take it easy we'll get into these start cleaning these up and i'll catch you out in the water next time peace